Hello everyone, welcome back again to Onhow channel. My name is Anas and I'm working for you. So if you have any questions or any video requests, make sure to drop them below in the comment or check out my Instagram right here below me. I do reply to each comment if you are wondering why is that because simply I'm working for you. And in this video, I will show you how to add custom fonts to your Shopify store. So if you are in the phrase of customizing your Shopify store and you did discover that the fonts that are already available to you by Shopify is not that good and you found some font on other website that you like and you want to implement it on your Shopify store and if you are wondering if that's possible that's completely possible and I'm not talking about adding custom fonts to Shopify store I mean if you did discover some Shopify store or any website and the font that they are using on the website is really good and you do like it and you want to implement it on your Shopify store you can actually figure out which font is that and add it to the Shopify store. The first thing you're going to do is install an extension or there is actually a website that can detect phone on any website. You just give it the URL for it and it will tell you which phone they are using on their store. Or just use an extension. Hold on, let me search for it actually because I think there is, it exists. I didn't use it in a while. Uh, so phone detector Chrome. And here it is, what phone? It's, its name is what phone? So just add it to your Chrome browser and whenever you access website, just access the extension from here and it will tell you which font they are using. So if you did find a website that's using a font that you do really like, you can figure out which font is that by using this particular extension. And if you want to know how to add that particular font to your Shopify store, you are watching the right video. In this video, I will show you how to do that. So without any more talking, let's just jump to it and close this and get back to the Shopify store, which is the testing. This is the, just the testing Shopify store. And by the way, if you are interested in how to add the banner like this video on it with the title description without using any apps, make sure to check out my channel as well as adding the variants with pictures on them. As you can see, I mean the color swatches, sorry with the pictures on them and so on, make sure to check out my channel. I did show that as well. And without any more talking, just get to it and show you how to add custom fonts to your Shopify store. And the first thing we're going to do is head over to the dashboard of Shopify store. And after that, click on online store right here and click on the three lights on the left of the customize button and click on edit code right here. Then you should see the code editor right here and head over to assets right here with said assets folder and simply click on it and after that click on either base.css or team.css so this is depends on which team you are using if you are using the down team because i'm using the down team it should be right now base.css and actually they might include an update that will change that however if you cannot find base.css look for team.css and vice versa if you cannot find team.css look for base.css in my case i will click on base.css i did say css a lot in this video i apologize anyway so after we did access the base.css file make sure to scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page let me hold this and scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page and after that on the last line right here click on enter so you can access the last line right here and without including this make sure you do access a new line completely fresh nothing on it and after that scroll down the description box and you will see a link in the description box simply click on it it will take you to this page right here which is bestbean.com so in here you will see this code right here all you need to do is simply select this code it's really short as you can see and right click let me select it again and right click and copy and let me do that again it's just a habit <laughs> anyway so let's just get back to the file right here and paste it at the end of the code or the end of the file sorry and after that simply paste it in the last line just like you see i had to reload the pages keep freezing on me i don't know why anyway so paste it in the last line right here and after that let's just click on save just to make sure the changes are saved and after the changes were saved successfully which is the code that we did add at the end of the file right now we need to find the phone or the custom phone that we need to add to our Shopify store and we need to do a little bit of changes to it because Shopify only accepts a custom phone which is end by W O F as you can see so let's just get back to Google search engine which is our friend and let's just search for free phones and we will do 
demonstration on it so let's just access the phone.com just pick this one right here so let's just click on download and it will download the zip file includes the phone right here and here it is so this is the phone right here and if you notice it ends with double t f and we need to change the extension of this phone in order to be installed on the shopify team and to do that open up a new tab google search engine again and type in uh, double t f to w o w f here we go and let's just access the first website which is a converter actually you don't have to search on google search engine i will put the link for this website in the description box below so just access it and after that click on select a file or just let just drag it let just drag the phone right here and after that it will say convert to w or wf which is the thing we want and let's just click on convert and here it is it's successfully converted let's just click on download and we have the file ready just like you see so let's just get back to our shopify dashboard and right now click on assets folder right here simply click on it and click on add new asset and it will ask you if you want to upload the file and that's what we need we need to upload the phone that we did convert to the assets right here so let's just drag it in here this is actually the old one this is the new one so let's just drag it in here and after that click on done and it will be uploaded so what we need to do right now is simply click on the editor right here the editor icon and copy the name for it simply copy the name and let's just close it and let's just get back to the base.css and let's just scroll down all the way down to the bottom again as you can see here it says the name of phone we need to paste in the name for it in here so let's just do that just paste in the name in here let's just do the same for the one below and just the name actually this one has an extension .wwf2 make sure you do not access that just the name for it just paste it in here and do the same for the other in here and again this one says name of phone let's just paste it in here and let's just save the changes to make sure it's saved correctly and the last step in here we need to add the classes what is the classes basically is either the heading or the heading two or the heading three or the paragraphs or the links and so on if you want to add the phone to the whole website or i mean the whole shopify store you need to include them all in here and to do so the first one which is the heading one obviously and comma make sure to include comma just like this the heading two comma heading three comma and so on and the body as well and p as well stands for paragraph and a and a stands for the links so right now we will add this particular phone that we did upload to our shopify store to all decks on our shopify store and there is six from h1 to h6 so let's just click on save and save the changes and right now our shopify store should change the phone so let's just check that and here it is as you can see the phone has been changed just like you see right now and this is for all the content on my shopify store not just the header for the video banner right here and let's just scroll down as you can see even the footer and so on all the phone has been changed in here and they are all based on this one and i did notice a mistake actually i did add another comma right here uh, behind the a and i shouldn't so when i accessed the shopify store i couldn't see i couldn't see the changes so i had to get back and remove the comma in here and save again and check and it's working as you can see and that's how you add the custom phones to your shopify store without using any apps or anything like that and i did show you the trick on how to discover what phones websites are using so you can install it on your Shopify store and as I said at the beginning of the video I'm working for you so if you have any issues with this particular trick or any trick make sure to drop me a comment below I will be happy to reply to you otherwise I take my job it is done for this video so thanks for watching catch you on the next one